Okay, so in this lab, we need to implement quality of service. Let's have a look at router one. On router one, enter a password of Cisco, type show run. We can see some configuration on the router, but there is no quality of service configuration on the router. So as an example, on this interface, no service policy has been applied. We don't see any class maps. We don't see any policy maps on the router. So conf t. We told that we need to match a voice traffic using NBAR and specifically RTP. Let's create a class map. And I'll use the name of voice. Now you can specify match all or match any. I'm not going to do that here. But notice by default, match all is used. In this example, we've only got a single match statement. So that won't make any difference. So what are we going to match? In this example, we want to match a protocol. The protocol that we want to match is RTP. So we want to match a real time protocol. By doing that, we are leveraging network based application recognition or NBAR on the router. We now need to match HTTP traffic using NBAR and we're going to set the DSCP to AF31. Let's create another class map. In this case, I'm going to match HTTP and again, I'm going to say match protocol HTTP. Next step is to match ICMP traffic using NBAR. So class map, ICMP. You could use any names here, but I'm simply going to match based on the protocol. So I'm going to make the class the same as the protocol. So as an example, I've created an HTTP class that's matching HTTP. I've created an ICMP class that's matching ICMP. But yeah, I've used the word voice to match RDP. You could use any descriptive name that you like for your class map. Okay, so once we've created our class maps, the next thing we need to do is create a policy map. And you need to give it a name. I'm going to call this mark. In the exam, follow the names that you told to use. But yeah, we can use really any name that we want to. We then need to match a class that exists. So we can't just specify something like test. The class map test doesn't exist. We need to specify a class that we've created, such as voice. And then we need to decide what to do with the voice traffic that's matched. We're told to set the DSCP to EF. So set IP DSCP. And notice here's a list of DSCP values. This is very nice because we can see both the name as well as the binary representation of the DSCP value. We've been told to set a voice traffic to EF. So I'm going to specify EF. We also told to provide a priority. Notice the keyword priority bandwidth of 100 kilobits per second. So in the class that's part of the policy, I'm going to specify a priority bandwidth of 100 kilobits per second. So what have we created thus far? We've got our class maps. We've created this policy. We matching the voice class, which is matching real time protocol traffic. In other words, voice traffic. We are setting the DSCP to EF. And we are providing a priority bandwidth of 100 kilobits per second. So continuing, policy mark class HTTP set DSCP, or in this case IP DSCP to AF31. The minimum bandwidth that we're going to provide to HTTP is 50 kilobits per second. We then need to specify our third class, which is ICMP. Set IP DSCP 
to AF11. Bandwidth that will be allocated is 25 kilobits per second. So we've created our class maps. We've created our policy. The next step is to bind the policy on the interface. So interface serial 010 service policy direction is output policy name is mark and there you go we've got our classes configured we've got our policy map configured and we've bound the service policy outbound on serial 010 I'll save the router configuration. So that's the configuration of router 1. We now need to do something similar on router 2.